Me, me, tie me. Me, me, tie me. Me, me, tie me. Meme time. It's meme time. It's meme time. Gather all your friends. It's meme time. It's meme time. It's meme time. The only cure for sadness. Meme time, everybody. Oh, welcome back. It feels like ages since I actually recorded this series. That beautiful intro. Oh, mwah, delicious. Was animated by Bree Pickled. Brie Pickled. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but Brie Pickled. Thank you very much. That's an incredible intro. Petition to have it be meme time intro forever, question mark? I don't know. Bitch, please. King of Subnautica. Bitch, please. But I am the King of Subnautica. How many people found Subnautica? Through the wonders of the Jacksepticeye Variety Channel. Mark can have his King of Five Nights at Freddy's thing. I, I don't care about that. I, I don't care enough about Five Nights at Freddy's to want to take that. I, Subnautica. Subnautica good. <laughs> Subnautica equals good. <laughs> Evelyn Jack K Jack's cat allergy. <laughs> oh, you stabbed me with a BB. Well, actually, you stabbed the allergy with a BB. <laughs> This is something that's come up a, quite a bit too, because everyone was worried when Evelyn moved in with me that uh, BB's being a big fuzzy furball cat man would make me sneeze and cough and splutter all over the place. I thought so too. I thought that I had a cat allergy. I hung around with Evelyn and BB a lot. Didn't really affect me. So then I started questioning everything I thought about my cat allergy, if it even was an allergy or if it was just dust from dirty cats. Either way, BB has been living with us for a while. He doesn't pay rent, but he also doesn't make me sneeze or cough or anything like that. So either I didn't have a cat allergy or it wasn't severe or I got over it. I don't know. I have just seen the enlightened eyes of God and I'm very happy that I don't have to take antihistamines or struggle every day. It's great. Now I have a little cat man running around and he's adorable. This cute little fuzzball. Look. Isn't he adorable? Now I can stick my face in him. And give him kisses and nothing happens and it's wonderful. You wanna be on you wanna be on camera? No, he wanna go. Okay. I guess some cats aren't cut out for a life of stardom. Second attempt at getting Jack to see this. Basically, I edited all of his alter egos into Super Smash Bros. It would really mean the world to me if he saw it. Oh, okay. What we got? Oh, I need audio. Damn! Jackie boy! <laughs> Oh, and JJ doesn't say anything. <laughs> doesn't speak in the battle. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry if I forgot someone. These are all I know. No, no, you're good. You, you got them all. That was wonderful. I love that. Jeez. All my boys in one place, all together. I know everyone keeps asking about the egos and when we're going to see more of them and stuff like that. I am working on it. I promise you. I, <laughs> I'm trying to get everything in place. I'm trying to make sure that the next stuff that I do with them is really good because I don't want to just fart them out and just do like little bits here and there. I'll still do that, but I need to make sure that it's going in the direction that I want it to go in the next time they show up. But I, I have very, very big plans for all of these characters. It's absolutely crazy to me that some of them have only shown up like once. And people still love them just as much. All my boys. If you don't know what any of these characters are, you're going to be very confused. Um, but hopefully I'll have stuff for you in the future where it'll make a lot more sense. But if you want a taste for what's to come, go watch Chase. I uploaded a video, just all capital Chase. No, it's not a JoJo reference. Go watch that video. I, I spent a lot of time and money on it, <laughs> even though it's very short. But it really meant a lot to me and I loved that video, so... Please go show it some love. Me trying to enjoy Sunday, Monday. Damn, that's relatable as heck right now. Well, it's Monday as I'm recording this, so. I already feeling it, bro. Except I do YouTube as my job and we don't get weekends. So every day feels the same. <laughs> Happy Wheels number 102. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. Now, Subnautica below zero again. 
Aye, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fun to record it again. I like having something that sits on the channel and we, we go through it together. And it's not just like a one-off every time. We actually have something continuous that's going on on the channel over and over again over the course of a couple of weeks. And I, I missed that. I said I'd wait for it to come out fully. And then I went and just be a big dumb did it anyway. But I'm pretty happy about it because it's great. <laughs> yonk, yonk, I'm hoarder. Sweet mother of God. Having played a lot of Untitled Goose Game, I know how long it takes to do this. The amount of dedication that's needed to do this. And the amount of fear and anguish that you have wrought upon this town. I'm very proud. Hyunk Hyunk, I'm proud. The Hyunkening is already underway in your world. I'm very, very happy about that. Now, do it with the desktop goose. That's hard mode. My focus during a Jacksepticeye video. My focus during school. <laughs> that's a- that's a really good meme. <laughs> It's like, my focus while watching thing I like. My focus during something bad. Oh, stinky. This is my attention span. So boring. I feel like I relate more to the bottom one than the top one. Every now and then, I'll hyper focus on something and I'll get my shit done. Usually it's YouTube videos, but then even in the YouTube videos, I can't do it. I can't focus. I just want to fucking slap the tits off myself. But that would get demonetized, and then I wouldn't be able to upload videos anymore. And then, oh, even stinkier. Happy birthday, Sean. Fan art I made. Hope you guys like. That's awesome. People keep asking me as well, what does 30 feel like? How do you feel? And I'm like, man, I feel amazing. I actually do. It's been great being 30 already. I've had the time of my life so far. Jesus. Let's, let's get a closer look on this bad boy. Sam's outside the window looking at me record. Why is Sam outside? Sam should be in there. But yes, this is exactly how my setup looks. It's a padded cell with two monitors and a screaming weirdo in the middle of it. Thank you very much, Super Potato Head. <laughs> this is really nice. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Your art's fantastic. Happy birthday, Sean. Thanks for making our life so much better. I hope you see this and have a great day. Congrats on becoming a boomer. If you die in real life, you die in Minecraft forever. <laughs> Good meme, but epic. Super gamer meme. Also, it's true. If you die in Minecraft, it's all over. Jack swearing. YouTube algorithm, 23.3 million subscribers. <laughs> I've gone back and forth on it because it's one of those things that, yes, if you stop swearing, your videos do better. It's just a fact. The more you swear, the more chance you get for demonetization. And I've sworn up a bloody murder since I've started YouTube. And now it's at the point where I have so many videos with swears in them that it's pointless for me to even try. I tried it for a while. And the videos didn't really do that much better because <laughs> I have so much other content on my channel where 99% of it is all swearing. So I'm like, dad, I'm fighting an uphill battle. The algorithm either hates me or it loves me. I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Some people do get hit very heavily though when they swear in their videos. And it's certain swear words. I can say fucking shit all I want. But there's a couple of others that if I say them, mm -mm -mm, the lights come on and daddy YouTube comes in with his belt. Have you been swearing? Huh? Have you been doing it? JC plus Gorillas, happy birthday, Sean. You inspired me to create. Holy hell. That's insane. You absolutely nailed that style. Neo Alex, thank you so much. That's really damn good. As someone who loves Gorillas and grew up listening to them and really, really liked their art style, this is really flattering to see. Amazing. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Say goodbye to toilet paper. What? <laughs> Say goodbye to costly toilet paper. Yeah, and say hello to anal medical bills. That looks like you wouldn't have an ass left. If, after using that for about a week, you'd be sawed in half. Kinda wanna try it out though. Even though I know it's a joke and I know that it's not a real thing. But I do like weird shit, so hit me up. 2020 me. New year, new me. 2019 me. 2018 me. 2017 me. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it be like that, gamers. You're like, yes, start of the year. Gonna do it. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna set up all these resolutions. And I'm gonna change my habits. One week in and not a fucking damn thing has changed. How about our New Year's resolution for 2020? It's to stop putting so much pressure on ourselves to be better all the time. Sometimes you just wanna be the same. <laughs> Sometimes, ah, you're gonna be a little worse that year. But that's okay, because there's another year that's gonna follow that. Look at me! 2017? Oh, stinker! 2018? Hell yeah. 2019? Ah, eh, yeah, cool. We did some fun stuff. And then 2020, it's like, 
What's going to happen next? I don't know. Tune in next week. But I'm very excited about this year. I think that a lot of cool stuff is happening. New decade. I turned 30. I have a lot of plans. I have some stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. Oh, it's going to be so good. My nipples are going to be hard. <laughs> 30 feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds himself actually <laughs> Instagram commented on my post, which is the wildest shit ever. Um... He, he's such a nice dude. I love him. I also can't believe that this is a timeline that I live in, where that happened. Can you fucking believe that? How crazy is that? I'm not allowed to complain about anything ever again. Life is too good. Life has given me more than it should have already. Uh, it's at that point where I'm like, when is the simulation going to turn off? And then we're all going to be figured out that we're just standing in the middle of a, an empty void and you can see every other person on the planet. And it turns out the Earth was flat all along. But seriously, this is one of those moments where... This happened and I kind of sat and that when I made the 30 vlog, I was kind of just reflecting on things and I started tearing up and everything because I was like, man, life is really damn good. And all of it, it was that moment of clarity where I started to realize like all of this like trivial things, like all the things that whatever, I'm not going to get into it. But like these tiny little things that all kind of built up that were kind of agitating me and pissing me off and making me all Ugh. <laughs> I started to realize, like, none of that matters. Why am I getting so worked up about this? So, new year, new me. Really, seriously. Have you seen this haircut? It's not supposed to be like this. I just got out of a shower. But you know what? I'm sticking with it because I don't care anymore. You can say what you want in the comments. I'll just cry privately instead. <laughs> oh, God, no. I thought that the I thought that the photoshopped one was bad. Now you're legitimizing it. Stop. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so nasty. Also, I kind of love him. I want to... Mother him. In this house, weird is good, and we support it. <laughs> Jack uploading two videos a day. Will you please listen? I'm not the Messiah. His fans. He is the Messiah! <laughs> Welcome, gamers. It's been fun. I said that I would upload two videos a day again when I start, whenever I got the energy to do it. And I don't know, I've just been feeling really good lately and just powering through stuff and it's just been feeling really productive. It's been awesome. Uh, I've missed a couple recently coming back from LA and I'll probably miss a couple in the next week because VidCon UK is happening. But that's absolutely fine because most people don't upload every day. And the fact that I'm able to upload twice a day means that I have too much time on my hands. No, but it's been really fun. It kind of takes... In a weird way, it kind of takes some pressure off, because when you upload one a day, or if you spend a long time doing one video for a certain period of time, like one video a week, or something like that, it, I put a lot of pressure on that then. I put a lot of pressure on the video each day, and then if that video doesn't do as well, then it was like, oh man, I guess I have to try again tomorrow. And then if that doesn't do well, then it starts, like, fucking with me. And then I started to realize that everything, I was, I was thinking too much that way, and that's a little too algorithmy too, you know, too stinky. So I decided two videos a day, just go for it. I don't even have time to think about anything. I just go. Just record the videos and go, bro. Feels like the old days. It feels fun. I have all my energy back. When you remember Jack is red, green, colorblind. You fucking asshole. <laughs> What is it? I, I know that everybody likes to meme, and I'm not memeing. I'm looking at this picture, and I legitimately do not see anything in it. If you don't see anything in it, you might be red, green, colorblind as well. Getting that- What do y'all motherfuckers know about mild protan, huh? Even if I stand- Oh! If I stand really far back, I kind of see it. Is it surprise Pikachu? I think I see it now. I think I see the eye, the eye, the ear. Yeah, that's surprise Pikachu, baby. There's his mouth. I nailed it. I overcame it. My eyes have gotten stronger. One of these days, I won't even need my glasses. But that's not today. I still need my glasses. You thought you could fool me. Trying to come into my subreddit and troll me and all my f mild protan bros? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh, stinky. I'm onto you. I'm gonna come to your house. And I'm gonna demonetize your life. <laughs> was in a theme park in the Netherlands when I saw something familiar. Yes! That was the picture I uploaded. It's from the Efteling. And those guys say, Papier here. <laughs> there it is. The picture. Snow fox, ice worm. Ow! Piece of shit. Eating my snow fox like that. It didn't even eat it. It just glitched and broke it. And now it's stuck under the ice forever. Legend says, it's still buried under the ice to this very day. You're damn right, outlaw sloth. I'll never get it back again. Also, people then reminded me that if you just walk on the ice and the ice worms don't attack you, I feel like... Should have figured that out. But then what the hell is the point of the snow fox? I want to take it. Blast across the ice. But every time I went anywhere with it, the ice worm was like, Ah, 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 stinky. No, no, no. Poke, poke. Sean's children. When daddy and mommy are both drinking angry juice and you just sit there learning a lot of no-no words. 
That's so goddamn sad. I would never ever do that in front of my child. Ever! I do swear a lot, but <laughs> I'd have the decency to not do it in front of my kid. I've seen that happen. And to some of my friends when I was kids. When we were kids, I guess. Uh, and I would not like that again. Oh. <laughs> That's really cute. Did that cat actually make that face? I don't even care. You can Photoshop that all you want. Photoshop cats' faces all you want. I don't care. They're adorable and super cute. And I'm a cat dad now, so every time I see a cat, I'm like... <laughs> but I hope you all look like that right now, because it is the end of meme time. No! Don't cry! Gamers! Please! The reason that epic sadness exists is because we had epic joy to begin with. Think about that. I'm not even 14. That really hurt. But that's gonna do it for me, memers and sweet maybe, maybe dreamies. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, slap a fat like on that bad bitch. And don't forget to go to the subreddit because that's where all of these memes come from and everyone has a great time and hangs out, okay? Go there, go there right now or I'm gonna smack you with this. I would never resort to physical violence. It's just an imaginary hypothetical amount of physical violence to try and coerce you into doing the thing that I want you to do. Uh-huh. You think about it? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>